someone who might be listening, let's say he's at the mall or he's um, he, he's at a, some kind of store, some kind of shop, and he's you know he wants to buy a certain thing, and he he needs to buy it at that time, and they, he can't like post on Handsome Guy Secrets because it might take a you know a few minutes to get a response. Even yeah. the, the response is really fast yeah, actually, I'm, but you know, I'm pretty on point. you're pretty fast. I'm pretty a few fast. minutes, but let's say he needs it even faster. Who can he trust? At that store, because if you trust an employee, the employee might say, "Oh yeah, you look good. You look good." Yeah, right? I, like, I would, who, how can I you would trust never, someone? Unless you're shopping at a place where, like, you're dealing with personal shoppers okay. and like salespeople, like that one, like Nordstrom's, Neiman Marcus, you can generally trust the employees. Gotcha. Okay. If you're just in an Express, if you're in like an H and M, you know, a Zara, because it's there. Yeah, like they're just ten dollars an hour. They hate their job. Gotcha. Don't listen to them. Gotcha. You know, most of like your Nordstrom, and it, and here it's going to sound very cliche, but if you're at like a place like that, chances are there's going to be a well dressed employee. Yep. Or and you and you'll know like you'll go who's the well dressed guy in here, but you can look around at the employees and go and see the guy that kind of understands how to have his clothes fit. Yeah. And say hey, it's very intuitive. You know, yeah, this you stuff. just yeah, know yeah. it, and, and like you know, it's like respect, 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 respect. It's like right. That's why when you start dressing well, other guys that dress well say you look good like yes. it's a compliment because they see that you have effort yes. so it's like that's one one thing too but also it's just uh, you got to just trust yourself like try it on mm. is it too short is it long does it feel good like you're your number one critic so got it's it. like whether or not I'm telling you to wear something you still have to go out wearing it and yes there's like their comfort zone and things you got to get over but yeah if you don't feel good in something you'll buy it but another thing never you don't want to trust like girls Boom. Yes. Like, and, that, and that's, that. and that's yeah. a that's a huge misconception with like guys like, Oh, I just my girlfriend dresses me or I have a couple girlfriends. My that, wife dresses me. Yeah, my wife like dresses for my me. Dad. It's like <laughs> well, it's like that that's so fucked up because yeah. it's like okay, first off, you're a fucking man. Why is your girlfriend dressing you? Like yeah. there's one thing that we have control over every day, it's what clothes we put on and whether we brush our teeth or not and take a shower. <laughs> Like, if you have to be reminded to do shit like that, you're a fuck up. Yeah, bro. But beyond that, because that's a whole rant in itself. Yeah. Um, when it comes to women, like, especially, like, girls and, like, especially, like, girlfriends or significant others or anything, or even close girlfriends that mm. you hang out with a lot, they don't want you to be too attractive. And there's, uh. a, there's a lot of subconscious stuff, especially if you're dealing with, like, I would never, like... Like if you if you just start dating a girl and be like, oh yeah, she took me shopping. Well, she doesn't want you to look too attractive, because you're going to be getting hit on. That's a good point. And and wow. same thing. And then there's also, you know, you might start dressing. Well, let's say you start wearing skinny jeans and you're looking good and you like it. And you might have some random girl that you're hitting on that you're that you're gaming, talk shit about your skinny jeans. It's not that she doesn't think you look good. It's that some dude, who fucked her before you cheated on her wearing skinny jeans God. now she hates all guys that wear skinny jeans <laughs> she's like polarized <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah, like yeah, and then okay. same thing it's like oh that's like, nuts man it's like oh i don't like guys that wear suits because they are they're arrogant okay it's like oh well why are they arrogant wait could she could it be a shit test though like she wants to know if you own those skinny jeans it or do you think it, okay but that's well, rare the, but the pickup thing is like i mean do girls know shit tests like no the, I mean, I, subconsciously maybe, but like yeah, not. Like, they're not like, like, oh, let me do a shit test on this yeah, guy. I feel like some shit, girls do. Like some I, girls are really good at this stuff, you know. I they, feel they, like <laughs> shit test is a fucking term just made up by the pickup and shit. It. it sounds cool. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Cool. Like cool. I, I could be just talking shit there. Don't listen to me on that one. But <laughs> but you know, like I doubt I doubt that they're trying to do shit test. It's just subconsciously they're been scarred by something, you know, like. Mm. Or like they dated a preppy guy who for preppy stuff, and then you know gotcha. he dumped her out of nowhere and left her hanging. Or her brother was married, and you know he wore he bought a pair of skinny jeans and cheated on his fiance. And, you know shit like mm. whatever it may be. Like it's they, emotional. Uh, it's emotional responses. Got two it. specific things that you don't know why they're mad about it, but then they're just mm. gonna be like, oh, you look like a fucking douchebag wearing that suit. Right. You know? Right. 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 But once again, consider the source. Is she dating a guy? Is that that guy dressed good? Does he is he treating her good? Like, you know, like take dude, I totally agree because a lot of the time, you know, my my parents, my relatives, my my close friends, they'd give me some advice. Mm -hmm. Right, and I'll look at them, I'll be like, listen, I don't want to end up like you, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna listen to you. Just like straight out, I mm -hmm. tell them. Even I, my parents, I tell them, look, man. I don't want to end up like you, so I'm not gonna listen to what you say. Like, try well, to like, understand. Yeah, that. It's like when you go out. Like, with, it's like when 
<laughs> it's like when you go out with friends, you have friends that you go out with just to get fucking drunk. Yes. And then you have friends that you go out with to have drinks and you learn from you bounce ideas off each other. Uh -huh. But you don't ever bounce ideas off the friends you're out getting drunk with because you know you're not going to get a good response. Right. So you have to know who right. you're like who you're talking to and what you're, you know, totally. like so. And and most people deal with that type of comfort zone like the they get all bottled up just because they're like they're, they start dressing well or like I mean I even have kids in my that follow me on YouTube that are like my parents pay for all my clothes and yeah. they won't buy me the stuff that you're telling me to buy me so it's like their situations I'm like I don't know what to tell kids then I'm like get a paper out like I have no clue no dude buy the the fucking thing your parents want then go return it and get what you want yeah. <laughs> it's like make it easy it's just like <laughs> get a gift certificate guys <laughs> so it works but yeah like I mean just always consider the source especially if you're dealing with a, if you're stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things maybe implementing right. some of the ideas that we are right. talking about right now and yeah consider the source because that's unless it's somebody that, that looks better than you don't trust it hey man thanks for watching this video Ryan has just released a fucking fantastic product brand new just for the doc testosterone tribe it's called the seven looks that make her want to fuck you now this product will lay out for you step by step what to wear, where to buy stuff from, what to pick out for different events such as a date or something you do business casual. All that is laid out in one place in an ebook that he has made just for us. This bonus, this special, you can get started right away. First link in the description below and get started ASAP. I will see you in the next video. This is Dr. Testosterone, and I'll see you next time.